Today on Foraging Truth, we're going to learn about this tree, Liriodendron tulipifera, or commonly known as the tulip poplar. The first thing you should notice about this tree is that it is deeply furrowed. I'm talking almost to the second knuckle on my finger. Deeply furrowed. The furrows run up and down the trunk. They almost look like ski tracks in a way, but the bark actually comes to a ridge. It's wide, the base, and comes to a ridge. And it goes that way the whole way around. Sometimes you'll have this little joining right here that looks like a little arrow pointing up. And the roots are huge. The tree that you're looking for is massive. I have found morel mushrooms are these smaller tulip poplar trees. And this is not a true poplar tree. This actually belongs to the magnolia family. So, if you can look the whole way up, tree trunks are usually very straight. And when they get closer to the top, you'll see it branch out. And the branches are going upward, but they're very gnarly. So, these trees grow very fast. See where this bark pattern I told you about, it's very deeply furrowed. The ridges are running up and down the trunk. But look at the base. It's almost like the bark could not catch up to the tree. Like the tree is growing so fast that these big chunks of bark are left behind at the base. And see how big and gnarly that is? These trees are massive. Now what you're going to find underneath the trees is these are a flowering tree. And in the beginning of the spring you can start to see some of these buds and these leaves appear. But the leaves do appear first. And those flowers become seed pods. So when you start seeing a lot of these laying around the base, these are tulip poplar seeds. So that's another identifying feature. The leaves, now let's go to the leaf litter because we're not gonna have true leaves to look at. They almost resemble a maple leaf, but they're not a maple leaf. And these leaves get very big. So you go to the leaf litter, you find the leaf. You found the bark, the tree's massive. You can see the leaves starting in the spring. You can see the green starting at the top of the tree. This is one of the trees that starts turning green first in the spring. So right along with the elm tree, having the green seed pods, you're gonna see these green startings in the top of the tree. Usually they're really big and you're not gonna be able to get to them very easily. So then the bark's not catching up to the base of the tree. It's kind of growing with the tree it looks like and it's real gnarly at the bottom. And you have the right leaves in the leaf litter. So, why do we look for the tulip poplar tree? Let's go over here and look. So here's that bark that I was talking about. Gnarly bark and then you see it turned right into this nice straight bark. It goes up the tree and we come down this way. And what do we have right here? The morel mushroom. Now, they could be anywhere that the, remember the tree limbs are kind of a reference point to where you need to start looking. So you're gonna wanna go wide out around the tree and start looking, but these ones happen to be right at the base of the tree. Four nice morels. Well, these ones could use a couple more days, but these two are okay. The tulip poplar tree, Liriodendron tulipifera. In the magnolia family, Big, tall, straight tree. So one more tree to add to your knowledge to help you find the morel mushroom from Foraging Truth. I hope this helps you guys out. And remember, we all need to be foraging every day. So keep foraging.